Marseille celebrate a controversial goal in extra time A controversial extra time goal from Marseille substitute Rolando helped the League One side survive a scare in the second leg of their Europa League semi-final against Red Bull Salzburg on Thursday night. Amadou Haidara, who played superbly all evening before being sent off in the dying moments, scored a wonderful solo goal, before Bonus Air's own goal leveled the tie. But the Brazilian defender's finish from Dimitri Payet's corner broke the host's hearts, sending his side through 3-2 on aggregate. Here are four talking points as Marseille reached their first European final in 14 years. Marseille appeared to lose control of the tie but saved themselves at the very end for all the quality they possess in attack, Marseille played with the hand break on from the start. The atmosphere before kickoff suggested Salzburg were only going to play one way, but the wave never came. Payet was quiet but effective picking up spaces all over the pitch and helping the visitors control the tempo, sapping all the momentum out of the game. Last week, Rusi Garcia bested Marco Rose tactically, and the game appeared to be playing out in the same way in the first half. Salzburg's lack of pace meant they couldn't break through Marseille while in midfield, their star man, Valone Barisha, who has scored five Europa League goals this term, looked lost between the lines, and Mons Debor continued to cut a frustrated figure up front. He did have one side of goal in normal time, toe poking the ball on target, but Johan Pele did enough despite a spillage that saw Luis Gustavo clear the ball. Beridia thrives when the ball is played into his feet, but his supply line was cut more often than not by Morgan Sanson and Maxime Lopez, who marshaled the central area expertly. Haidara had been plugging away, and as soon as the 20-year-old got on the score sheet, the momentum switched. Gustavo's attempt to win the ball failed in the build-up before failing to clear Schlager's shot, which then deflected off SARR for the second. He and Rami seemed to lose their grip on proceedings, and the midfield appeared to dissolve, allowing Beridia to dictate the play. Having started in such a rigid manner, Salzburg began to swarm all over the pitch. After failing to profit from Payet's excellent dead ball delivery all evening, though, Marseille struck through Rolando with doubts over whether the corner should have been given. Haidara's performance shows he could have a big future elsewhere everything was under control from Marseille point of view until midway through the second half but if the European knockout stages have proven anything this season, it is that momentum can swing in an instant. Salzburg had been struggling to make their possession count, breaking through the lines was an issue all night. Any pass was cut out and there was no space to force their way through. Hadara, though, has shown himself to be an extremely competent box-to-box -box midfielder this season, he spotted his chance to shine and grasped it with both hands. Picking the ball up on the turn, he jinked past two Marseille midfielders, everybody in his path committed but he kept going before poking the ball home. There will have been a few scouts across Europe taking note ahead of the summer transfer window. The dynamic of the game suddenly changed, the fans began to believe again, as they had before the game. Haidara, and his midfield partners Diadi Samaseku and Xaver Schlager, had been passive throughout the game because of Marseille midfield pressing, but once the goal went in, the game turned on its head. It's clear they smelt blood and they went in for the kill at every opportunity. Moments later, the tie was level when Shadger's shot was deflected past Pele by SARR after more superb work by Haidara down the right-hand side. Your browser doesn't support HTML5 video. R-O-L-A-N-D-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O. Soccer Ball Marseille score a crucial away goal in Austria and are heading through to the Europa League final. Fearful face but it shouldn't have been a corner kick in the first place. HTTPS colon slash slash t.co slash nbx1 nami 5k 10.34 p.m. The 3rd of May 18 Rose showed his brilliance in the second half Rose's substitutions only added to the intensity and energy from his team. Wang Hee Chan, perhaps unlucky to lose his place in the starting 11, came on for with just over 20 minutes to go and he brought a new dimension to their play, while Japanese striker Takumi Minamino was a nuisance from the moment he stepped onto the field. Rose has built this young team in his image, in his first full season as a top-level coach. Marseille were stunned and, as soon as the whistle blew on the 90 minutes, it felt as if Garcia's men were playing for penalties before the struck gold. Chances went begging in the first half of extra time as the hosts desperately looked to press home their advantage and complete yet another remarkable European comeback. They channeled the spirit of the last round, against Lazio, only, for centre-back Duje Coletta to see his header from Barisha's corner to be spectacularly saved by Pele. Dabor, who had livened up as the game went on, shot wide moments later with Minamino screaming for the ball, that misproved so costly in the end. 
Florian Thivon went missing when it mattered most even though Marseille tactical plan was evident, Florian Thivon, the man who kick-started the tie with a goal in the first leg, failed to have any impact. It was particularly evident when Salzburg began to push forward after Haidara's equaliser. Thivon, along with Lucas Ocampos, failed to give them the necessary outlet from wide areas. Clinton Njie, the former Tottenham winger who scored the second goal in the first leg, was brought on to replace Valere Germain in the second half, but he couldn't stretch the defence either. Jane had run the channels well and his withdrawal certainly had a negative impact for Marseille, where Rose's substitutions worked perfectly, Garcias almost cost his side a place in the final. Want to read more football articles? Register with the Sportsman to personalise your news feed with your favourite sports and football team.